experiences all my all my dreams all my hopes all my failures all my lessons my loves my best moments my worst moments my family my friends my trials and tribulations even my enemies like it's all here do you know what i mean it's all here like and to just look around and see it just about to be on the verge of burning down so all I can see is I can just keep seeing fire. Fire and flames, fire and flames, killing and murders. Asian against white, white against Asian, black against Asian, Asians against black. Chinese, every, I could just see it. I could just see there's going to be a non, because so much different people are going to be hurt. And when someone gets hurt, it continues and continues and continues to spiral on. So, yeah, I'm not really happy with what I'm seeing. And... In the scheme of things, I'm going to let you know where I stand because I don't want no one to confuse me or make me feel any way or part of anything because I never, ever remember. You see me? I'm going to tell you the truth. The only thing that's looked out for me from when I could say when I was a kid from around 11, 12, when I left home, yeah, was the establishment. A man can say what they can say what they want about me and say what they want and say, oh, you're just a this and you're just a that. But this is my journey. This is not your journey. I'm telling you my truth. You look all had the same journey. Good luck to you. I'm glad you all can agree and shake hands and hold hands and say, yeah, yeah, we all we all grew up like this and this is what happens. But everyone's not the same and I'm definitely not the same. Do you know what I mean? When I felt like I had no hope or nothing, it was. The country that supported me. And we're not talking about the man in the street. We're talking about the systems that have been set up to protect kids, to protect to protect certain things, to keep like you know what, you know, you know the funniest thing is? Everyone talks about systematical racism, yeah. But what I'm saying to you is, yeah, everyone hates the government and all this shit, yeah. But the government are all the ones sending down the things. We don't have to live by anything they're saying. All right, cool. If they're sending systematic racism down, why do we have to live by it? Because in my community, I live with white people. I live with Asians. And when I say community, my community is not just in Brixton. My community is this whole country. Do you understand? I might not be welcome in certain parts of certain parts of the country. I don't know. I ain't been to all the country. That would just be me speculating. But everywhere I've been so far in this country, I have been fine. You know, there's been a bit of racism when I was in Wales, but that's to be expected, isn't it? It's got nothing to be upset about, so. Yeah, I just don't want to see this kind of thing happening, man. This is my home, and to watch it crumbling and burning, and, and it's just destroying everything that's been built. Then destroying everything that you, that people from different countries are coming to run to to get away from where they are. It's all getting destroyed. Do you know what I mean? Because, like I said, it doesn't really matter what the government do, what they implement. As long as we live good together, then England will always be fine. But I feel like England, the England that I'm talking about is getting manipulated now. Do you know what I mean? And I can see both sides of the coin. I can see how people feel. People of this country feel how... 
they've been getting treated. You actually definitely saw it when it came to the police. When it was time to fight immigrants and time to fight English people, there was two different things, even though... No, but even though nothing, because oh, at the end they, they tried to burn down the mosque, cool. But at the same time, in the other situation, he was burning police cars and they still didn't do anything. So, yeah, I can see the argument for them. I live in this country, I know I'm not, I'm not sitting there oblivious like I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? I talk to people on all different types of levels. Do you know what I mean? So, there ain't nothing that I'm not... I've never heard a com. There's not a certain conversation I've not heard that I've been able to think about and process and try and understand it from different different angles. I've done all of that, but me standing up and just talking about black power or f the lot and f them lot, f them lot, they ain't gonna do nothing. I know. I know. There's gonna be. There's gonna. It's 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 inevitable, isn't it? There's something that's about to happen. Yeah, something's about to happen. And everyone better protect theirself. But what I really want to do is... You see, there's instigators of this thing. I don't care what side they're on. The black side, the Asian side, the white side. I want everyone who's standing around these people to really look at these people, you know. Right? Because you see some of them, they're just clout chasers. And I ain't talking about the people in this video. Now, I don't even put the video up. Yeah, I ain't talking about the, I ain't talking about people in this video. I don't know them people personally, but there are people. They sound like they're trying to protect their community. So let's not get anything confused about that. They really trying like trying to sound like you can hear the the rhetoric they're using. They're trying to yeah, I hear you, because if you're if you're waking up and mosses are getting burned down and then Asian brothers are getting chased down, black brothers are getting chased down, you're thinking raw. Oh, the country's about to switch on us. Or well, the racist people are anyway. Yeah, so really and truly what we need to do is protect ourselves. Do you know what I mean? So I get where they're coming from. I'm, until I see otherwise, I'm not gonna say otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, we're actually destroying the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing that's been built is getting destroyed. And that's the reason I say it's getting destroyed, it's not just burning, burning and all that. What you gotta understand is the freedom that we lived in. Is disappearing slower and slower and slower and slower and slower. And it's all because of events that take place. And this is why I say something's going to happen because there's too many events taking place right now. And they all go back to security, back to protection. And that's scary. Because you know who suffers when them laws come in? It's us. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about what's going on. Because... You know, some people after this, some people will be in jail, some people will be deported. And then the people who really could say probably do love the country, love their family. Remember, when I say country, it's, it's, it's not just the name England or it's everything. It's your family, it's your business, it's your life, it's your experience. It's your, England's it means a lot to me. So, yeah, all of that's going to be getting destroyed as I know it. As I know it. It's getting destroyed in other area. You know, like before, everything that they do don't really bother us. We're on the ground, we survive. Do you know what I'm saying? We find ways to survive. But what's going on now in this world within, like, you know, LGBT, uh, all these other incidents, you know, like, they are actually doing things that will affect us, even on the ground. Because it's family oriented. Do you know what I mean? And then, like I said, security, that involves everybody. So, I can just see... I can just see us going back into finger bob soon because too much is happening. And where everyone is ready for a fight, ready and willing for a fight, you're going to give... Look, you're going to give these people no excuse but to put us... put us away like when they locked us away last time. Well, down last time, but... Yeah, and then, you know, like, everyone was still running around and doing what they're doing. I don't think that will happen this time. I think there'll be definitely army on the street with machines. And then the ID place, was, then the ID thing will start. Do you know what I mean? And then anyone who's illegal, 
I don't know how many people are legal that are still over it, but they'll be the first ones to be taken out and weakened down the power structures of all, all these all these gangs that are able to, not even gangs, but protesters. There are some gangs, let's not get it twisted. There are some people on, on well, on the, on each side, I should say. There's people on each side that are using this to their advantage to cause havoc. And those people, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they are not the, um, they're not gonna be the ones that are gonna help this situation. But as I was saying before, look around you you see the people that are instigating this stuff whether they're black white or asian you're around them look at them look at them what they really want look at what are they really trying to do because sometimes it sounds good but you see if you really look at it and think about because you see so you, you even you get the flip type you know the one that's always talking yeah anti this anti that anti that and then now he's standing up all professional now in a suit thinking oh shit this is my moment make sure i get this message right so I can, so I, I, I'm able to hide what my intentions are. Like, oh yeah, you've been talking anti-talk, do this, do that, do that, and then all of a sudden you got a suit on, and you're trying to give a speech on the podium that's been written down, but the message is the same. Because we've arrived at this moment, it's like, <laughs> it's like, you see what I was saying? This is why I do it. But I'm not trying to be that guy today. I'm just going to let all the evidence and everything that's in the air do the talking. But I'm still going to get what I want, what I've been talking about for the last two years. Be careful of people like that. Because they, they are out there, trust me. And when you're listening to these people, these leaders, and they ain't, got the, they ain't talking about peace and that, that's not their first thing. Because what are they saying? Peace, prepare for war, and war, prepare for peace. If the goal is not for peace, just understand these people have their own agendas. And that's black, white, and Asian, my friend. Yeah? And like I said, them people on the steps, the Muslims on the steps, to me, they look like they're protecting their community so far. So I ain't going to be trying to downplay their thing or anybody's thing. At the end of the day, we've seen it. I wouldn't like. I would. I wouldn't like to go anywhere and get chased by these mobs, because they look like they just want to hurt you because of how you look, which is wrong, because a lot of us are born here and love the country the same. And when I say country, it comes with a lot of things: family, bloody, 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 experiences, memories. Do you know what I mean? And I always consider myself black English. I don't really care what. The next black person wants to tell me that I can I can be or I can't be. But we'll break that down on another day. I've right now the most important things going on. And I just hope everyone protects themselves and uses this more than this right now. Because you see this, this is too open right now, and there's a lot of manipulation going on. You know, all the you know all them all them keywords and words that they use to really rally people up and Watch out for them, they're getting thrown around a lot lately. But yeah, it's QBE. You know, just DM me and message me if you want to come on the lives. We're going to start having some lives and some good debates. We're going to take it over to TikTok and have some live, good live debates. We don't want no swearing, we don't want no racism. If you're Asian, you're welcome. If you're black, you're welcome. If you're white, you're welcome. If you're Chinese, any, anyone, you're all welcome. Because this is about us. And we can't wait for them motherfuckers upstairs because what you're seeing around there, the people they're controlling who are fighting each other, that's exactly what they want from them. You understand? And I say there's going to be a few gangs, but I'll talk about that in the next one. There's going to be a few gangs springing up. Just make sure you know which one you're in. Believe me. QBE.